Lights, camera, action. There's nothing quite like the magic of Hollywood movies. The action, the adventure, the drama, comedy, horror, and suspense. It's always a thrill to get reeled into the imaginary world of the silver screen. Now what if you could see those big screen fantasies coming to life in the real world? And meet the stars face to face? It's not too hard to imagine, with the very first Universal Studios in Southeast Asia making its grand opening in Singapore, where you can experience the magic of Hollywood and ride the movies. Singapore is now host to Universal Studios Theme Park, joining the ring of Universal Parks and Resorts in Los Angeles, Florida, and Japan. Universal Studios Singapore is the latest addition to the world-class entertainment and luxury destinations of Resorts World. Part of the Genting Group of Companies, these integrated resorts have defined an innovative brand of entertainment combining the best of all worlds within one venue to cater to the diverse interests of their guests. The first to open in 2009 was Resorts World Manila and is known as the place to play as it is equipped with the largest gaming facility in the Philippines, a mall loaded with luxury brands and three internationally renowned hotels in one complex. Our gateway into the world of luxury and serious play opened with an overnight stay at the Maxim Tower, the country's first all-luxury suite hotel. Given the royal treatment with fine dining and a personal butler, we felt like movie stars in our own little paradise. But the real magic was just about to begin as we flew off to Resorts World Sentosa for the grand opening of Universal Studios Singapore. A three-hour flight away from Manila, the island city of Singapore is utopia in its own way. Orderly, impeccably clean, and one of Southeast Asia's wealthiest cities, it is often referred to as a fine city for its strict implementation of rigid laws, which has done them well in creating a progressive and strong city. But against the towering skyscrapers of this thriving city of commerce, Singapore also takes its fun side seriously, with an entire island dedicated to pure entertainment on the ever-colorful and fun-filled Sentosa Island. The newest home to Resorts World and Universal Studios, Sentosa Island is accessible from almost any point in Singapore thanks to their efficient transit network. Getting to our hotel from the airport was an easy 30-minute bus ride straight to the driveway of Hotel Michael, where we would be spending our weekend. One of the four designer hotels in Resorts World Sentosa, Hotel Michael pays homage to the great architect Michael Graves, where each room was crafted as a collection of the artist's favorite things. From the warm honey-colored interiors to the circular mosaic showers, and the painted geometric landscapes spanning the walls, every corner of the rooms carry a distinct trademark of Graves' aesthetics. Being in Resort's world, and moreover it being located on THE resort island, Sentosa, it was safe to assume that there would be a lot for us to see and do during our stay. Setting out to scout the 49 hectares of the resort, just like with any expedition of such a great feat, it required that we started with a map, which can be found conveniently at almost every corner. And in very Singaporean fashion, all the different areas were neatly mapped out in a clear and orderly manner, making it easy to find your way through the massive resort. Rows of specialty stores are lined up along the shopping lane, including Michael Graves' gallery. 
A spectacularly sensory escalator ride led us down to the casino, which is strictly regulated. Surprisingly, it is far easier to enjoy gambling in Sentosa if you're not Singaporean, due to several regulations imposed by the local government to prevent gambling addiction among its citizens. But with a foreign passport on hand, feel free to gamble away. Resorts World also offers events venues with its luxurious convention centers and added attractions, such as their theatrical circus shows and dancing fountains in the Lake of Dreams. And, like any good resort, there are endless dining options available. Resorts World Sentosa boasts of having their own celebrity chef restaurants. We couldn't resist trying one of these and decided to reserve a table at Fiesta. Here we got to meet Singaporean chef Kay Lee Hu Kyong, who specializes in Latin American cuisine. The restaurant serves up the best selection of grilled meats and seafood, both a la carte and buffet style. Among their best sellers are the Brazilian mix and the pineapple pork ribs that were no doubt nothing short of delicious. As a bonus, we got to catch the chef in action for a live demo of one of his newest dishes he simply calls tuna salad. But instead of the standard issue canned tuna, chef makes this delectable dish with fresh sashimi-grade tuna, orange slices, cherry tomatoes, scallops, and avocado, topped with a light dressing of olive oil. up on a satisfying dinner, little did we know we would be in for another kind of sensory experience as we went to watch the crane dance show along the waterfront. This free, nightly show was especially created for Resorts World Sentosa and spearheaded by Emmy Award-winning show maestro Jeremy Railton, who is also the creative genius behind live stage productions for the likes of Cher, Barbara Streisand, Diana Ross, and the late Michael Jackson. Staying faithful to Asian traditions yet maintaining an international appeal, the crane dance draws inspiration from traditional folklore in a simple love story. The light-hearted courtship dance enchants the audience with magnificent light, fountain, and pyrotechnic effects veiling the impressive engineering that has gone into making these 80-ton lovebirds, the equivalent weight of 10 adult African elephants, dance as delicately as cranes. Each of the mechanical birds rise to a height of 30 meters or about 10 stories high, making it the tallest dancing animatronic show in the world. Unlike anything I've ever seen before, the crane dance was definitely a spectacle of engineering fantasy brought to life by love and, of course, state-of-the-art technology. It was a fitting prelude to the picture-perfect movie magic that was about to unfold. It's the big day at Resorts World Sentosa, where the grand opening ceremonies of Universal Studios Singapore reels out the flash and flare of Hollywood movies. <laughs> Setting the stage for the festivities is an action-packed stunt show complete with ninjas, convertibles, and kung fu. A grand parade ushered in the crowds as they entered the world of movie magic with the park's biggest stars. From classic heroes such as Charlie Chaplin, Betty Boop and Marilyn Monroe, to modern box office biggies from Madagascar, Shrek and the Scorpion King. 
And of course, we won't leave out the real live Hollywood stars that graced the event with their presence at the red carpet gala night. Luckily, we got the clapperboard invite to this VIP event and got close enough to walk in a trail of pixie dust left by the stars, both real and unreal, and hopefully grab a glass of bubbly along the way. Special guests at the event included the fast as lightning martial arts action star Jet Li, the lovely and versatile actor Maggie Chung, and the one star I waited all night to see, Paula Abdul. Yes, the world-renowned trailblazing choreographer, songwriter, dancer, and performer herself had flown all the way to Singapore for the opening of Universal Studios. And this I would not miss. Paula Abdul is one of the first to be given the honor of making her mark on this grand occasion by sealing her palm prints on a slab of wet concrete on the Walk of Fame, immortalizing her spot in the history of Universal Studios Singapore. The red carpet gala night took off in true Hollywood style, where all the guests of honor opened the event with a symbolic golden hand printing ceremony. An explosion of applause and fireworks goes off, while an all-chef marching band leads the conga line towards the food and festivities. It's a night of singing and dancing, Paula Abdul's dancers dancing. Paula herself dancing. And yes, more Paula. Hello everyone. What a treat. What a treat for me to be here tonight. I am so thrilled. The last time I was in Singapore is almost 20 years ago. And I bragged and bragged to my family and friends how much I love Singapore. And this is thrilling for me to be here in the opening of Universal Studios Singapore. I'm a native of California and live not even 10 minutes away from Universal Studios. And um, it's been a constant in my life and the fabric of my life and the tapestry of many beautiful memories. It's nice to know that even the big stars enjoy theme parks just like the rest of us ordinary folk. But not getting carried away with being starstruck, there is more ahead as we get to experience Universal Studios Singapore for ourselves. A full day ahead hardly seemed enough time to experience everything the park had to offer. Throughout the 20 hectares of the park, which is the size of about 25 soccer fields, there is literally something happening on every corner. On-screen characters came to life as they mingled with the crowds. Hi! <laughs> We're just about to take pictures of the Maryland one. while pocket performances popped up along the pavements. Some of which did not spare its audience the privilege of comfortably looking on from the sidelines and getting thrown right on to center stage. All in the name of entertainment. The seven meticulously detailed themed zones brought back a slice of New York City. A taste of ancient Egypt. And a glimpse into the future and prehistoric worlds. Unique to Universal Studios Singapore, which aren't found in any other Universal parks, 
is the world's biggest single collection of DreamWorks animation attractions, including the world's first far, far away castle from the movie Shrek and the world's first Madagascar theme ride. The park has a total of 21 rides and attractions, 18 of which can only be found in Singapore. And since we're throwing around numbers here, it would be worth mentioning that the park has 122 different music zones, an international staff from 28 different countries, and approximately 1,500 trees on its premises, which is impressive, but not surprising, as the park, including the surrounding resort's world premises, was intentionally planned and built with the objective of sustainable development. Some of the green features include a water management system that harvests rainwater to run air conditioning systems as well as watering the plants. And within the park itself lies Singapore's largest solar panel. Resting on top of the Revenge of the Mummy ride is a 3.6 million Singapore dollar solar PV system, which can generate 550 megawatt hours of electricity per year. This is equivalent to providing power for 108 four-room apartments in Singapore. Resorts World Sentosa and Universal Studios Singapore has certainly set a high standard for being able to incorporate massive amounts of fun while maintaining a comparatively small carbon footprint. But beyond saving the Earth, what people really look for in a theme park is nothing more than fun and thrills which is exactly what we had set out to do. China, oh, what's in there? Another handy map in hand, and we're off to Universal Studios to get ourselves drawn into a fantasy world. With so many rides and attractions to choose from, it felt almost impossible to go to all of the ones we wanted to in just one day. Well, not together at least. Oh wow, look, Revenge of the Mummy. Whoa, it's huge. <laughs> Do you want to go on this ride? Because yeah. the water world starts at 4.30. Okay, yeah, I really want to ride this. Why don't we split up? I'll watch the show and eat. <laughs> yeah, okay, and I'm going to ride all the rides. And you look for the rides. Okay, I'll And we'll meet later. here back in about an hour. All right, Okay. bye. Going our separate ways with only a half day left, I had the task of picking a handful of the best rides in the park. Being an adrenaline junkie, the top requirement on my list was that it had to be fast. And the scarier, the better. To help me decide, I cornered these friendly looking people to ask for recommendations. Really? Is it really fast? Okay. Taking their advice, I got an express pass and tried the two fastest rides in the park. The Mummy Ride in Ancient Egypt and Battlestar Galactica in Sci-Fi City. The Mummy indoor roller coaster was like riding a speeding rickety wagon in pitch darkness with occasional fireballs thrown at you. And the special effects and storyline throughout the ride added to its adventure factor. As for the Battlestar Galactica, apart from being the world's tallest pair of dueling roller coasters, just looking at this pile of twisted metal, you could assume it would be one heck of a ride which it was, and is hands down my favorite. As I was getting my adrenaline fix, Nyx was over at the Waterworld show, which is based upon the blockbuster post-apocalyptic Kevin Costner flick from the 90s. What are you doing? A man is here! I can see him! I've only got one eye! The action-packed show features daredevil stunts, complete with explosions, in one of the largest amphitheaters in the world. The dramatic water show runs for about 20 minutes and can evoke just about the same kind of adrenaline pumping action as the roller coasters. The food, the rides, the shopping, the fun. It was all over too soon. <laughs> Our last few moments in Universal Studios were spent looking through the souvenir shops, 
where we could take a piece of the experience home with us. For the past few days, we had been in another world, where imagination comes to life, from off the screen into reality. I wasn't quite ready to leave this star-studded paradise, but like all good movies, there's a time for it to end. And that's a wrap! <laughs>